Drive Ignition. This is Actar's Reviews. From anime to figures and beyond. another episode of Actar's Figure Reviews. Radio, before taking a look at the final member of the band Hokago Tea Time, let's now take a slight detour and look at the ever-reliable Manabe Nodoka, Yui's childhood friend and student council president in Figma form. I never did pay that much attention to Nodoka in the first season, and to be completely honest, I'm astounded at how much her character and character design has grown on me over the course of the second season. I tell you, it has to be those glasses, I'm sure of it. But more on that later, first off, just like Ui, Nodoka is sadly relegated to be a Wonderfest exclusive, which is unfortunate for most Nodoka fans who will have to check out auction sites as even the online pre-order period on GSC's website is long over. Well, taking a look at the box, we see that it keeps in tradition with all the other K-On Figma figures with the classroom used as the main design. You can see the black chalk board. We have the piano, tables and chairs, albeit this time with a green colour scheme. Pretty fitting to Nodoka's character in my opinion. Uh, Nodoka Manabe, Manabe Nodoka, winter school uniform version, product number EX005, meaning to say that it is a special edition figure, a limited edition figure. Turning the box aside, we see Nodoka striking a very lovely pose and at the back of the box, we have the usual collage of pictures featuring the figure in various poses and showing off all the various accessories that the figure comes with. So that's pretty much it for the box itself, pretty basic Figma box if I do say so myself. Let's open this up and take a look at the contents inside. Here is Figma Nodoka in her plastic packaging with the accessories laid out very neatly around the figure itself. And just like with all the other K-On Figma figures, Nodoka does come with a cardboard base that features a cardboard punch-out that will allow you to decorate your D stage and make it resemble the floor of an auditorium stage. And here is Figma Nodoka equipped with her cherry red glasses. I'm sorry but I just cannot get enough of them. And while on the subject, let me first mention this amazing feature that Figma Nodoka possesses. Yes, I know I'm jumping ahead of myself but this is just way too awesome. Her glasses are removable. No kidding. And to go about the glassing Nodoka, simply remove her front hairpiece and unclip them from the sides. Not sure how well you can see this, but it simply unclips from the two sides of her hairpiece. And now all you have to do is to replace her hairpiece so with Nodoka revealing her adorable eyes. Now this is brilliant. To my knowledge, this is the first ever Figma figure to feature removable glasses. And it really does add a whole new level of detail and play value to the figure. I mean, for instance, you're now able to have Nodoka hold her glasses, so on and so forth. It seems that the designers of the figure share my tastes for Nodoka's glasses and have paid special attention to them. Or perhaps they just wanted to cut costs and not provide a whole new exchangeable hairpiece. But while I would rather be in the former, whatever the case, this gimmick is executed flawlessly and really does achieve the desired effect very, very well. Not to mention, this feature does make Nodoka stand out a little bit more from being just another run of the mule side character Figma. Getting back on track, as evidence from her glasses gimmick, we are dealing with the usual superb standard of accuracy that you can expect from Figma figures. Phenomenal sculpting and paint details all around our points to note include the buttons, the individual painted buttons, the sculpted bow tie, and the dynamic folds that have been molded into a clothes which seem to be a Figma specialty. The clothes themselves are made of soft PVC from her blazer to a skirt so as not to hinder articulation. Speaking of articulation, her articulation is standard for a Figma figure but still outstanding nonetheless. Her head can move side to side and move up and down. Her arms can move forwards and backwards, in and out. Uh, she also does feature this double jointed shoulder, albeit to a very, very slight extent, but it still allows for a wider range of natural possibility, so that's always appreciated. Her elbows can move forwards and backwards and rotate side to side. Her hands can move forwards and backwards and rotate at the wrist. 
like all the other Figma figures, Nodoka does have a waist joint that can move forwards and backwards, but only to a certain extent. Her soft PVC school blazer does allow for some articulation, but not that much. However, her waist joint still does allow complete rotation of her lower body. Uh, as for her legs, she can move forwards and backwards, rotate at the thigh, her knees can move forwards and backwards and swivel slightly to a certain extent, and her feet can move forwards and backwards, pivot side to side, and rotate side to side as well. Accessories, accessories. Nodoka comes with the basic three jointed stand, Figma base, and a Figma ziplock bag to keep all of your accessories in order. Strangely enough, Nodoka does come with the little option part that allows you to plug the stand in from the side even though she doesn't really have long flowing hair to speak of. And a whole rack of exchangeable hands are provided that include your usuals but also a couple of hands that I do believe are firsts for a K-On Figma figure. Uh, one, one of them for instance is this gun hand and a V hand which will allow you a myriad of posing options such as adjusting her glasses and pretending to be a cop. Now I don't know about you but I always kind of imagine Nodoka as a cop or a policewoman. It's a police officer, being a woman has nothing to do with it. Uh, I, I mean officer. To help strengthen the image, Nodoka does come with her hat that she wore when overseeing the cultural festival. <laughs> going to be really really frank Nodoka is just so adorable and if I do say so myself in a creepy otaku way very very hot as if the glasses weren't enough the hat the hat it just makes Nodoka and the figure for me now her head does not have a peg on it to secure it in one position like Figma, Shamal and Vita so you can exercise complete creative control as to where her head goes to the side you know or maybe facing backwards being hip or something uh, interestingly enough it's made in such a way that it hugs her head and is able to stay on pretty firmly now next we have her armband that she wore to the school festival to complement her hat. Now you have to remove her forearm to slide the armband in place. Let me just do that right now just to show you what I mean. It's simply it simply packs in place. So all you have to do is to slide her armband in. Let me see how this goes. Yep, this is one, this is the way. And replace her arm. And there we have it, Nodoka with her Nodoka wearing her armband. So aside from Yui and Azusa who comes with a pair of red tip school shoes, Nodoka comes with a pair of blue senior school shoes, just like all the other K on figures. Moving on to her final accessories, exchangeable faces. Now Nodoka comes bundled with two normal ones, one for Nodoka herself with a worried slash concerned expression on her face or I would suppose a moe expression depending on your uh, preference. One for Yui which will enable her to look saddened slash disappointed. And her final exchangeable face is one for use with Yui which you might recognize as the one which you can apply water decals to or decals depending on how you pronounce it. This is a really great inclusion if I remember correctly. I did complain about having to scrape off an expression and waste it if one wanted to change the expression. As even though they provided multiples, they won't last forever. And as if that wasn't enough, they even provided an additional decal sheet. Way to go above and beyond. I'm honestly very, very impressed. Uh, to see how the water decals work, water slide decals work, check out my Figma UE review. Oh, and just as a matter of interest, it seems that the complaints of unobservant people not being able to locate their sticker and decal sheets since Figma Konada summer uniform version have finally reached the ears of GSC. Because now, there is a big honking sign here on the box flap that pretty much translates to Hey, look here! There is a water slide decal sheet and instructions behind the cardboard backing. I mean... I, I just find this really, really amusing. And I did forget to mention that the instructions to Figma Nodoka are bundled behind her decal sheet. So let me just uh, let me just take this out to show you what it looks like. 
in case you are worried that uh, yeah it comes with the instructions for the water slide decals and it also comes with instructions for Vigma Nodoka to show you how to remove her glasses and to show you how to place the armband onto her arm. So in conclusion, Figma Nodoka is a surprise hit for me. Initially, I thought nothing more of her figure other than another exclusive side character that I had to get just to complete the set. But by the time I received the figure, I had already warmed up to Nodoka and was pleasantly surprised as to how fun the figure was in terms of both features and accessories. Not to mention, it included quite a number of accessories that, true to Nodoka, complements Figma Yui. While I would usually recommend casual fans of Kaon to only complete their band at most, this time I actually recommend all fans, casual and hardcore alike, to give Nodoka a look and to consider setting aside a few bucks to pick her up if you haven't already done so. So, this is Ekta saying, see you guys in the next episode.